Hello vinyl community, enthusiasts, lovers of all things vinyl. Welcome back to my channel here guys. And today is the day. We are going to finally discuss a couple things today. But the first thing I think a lot of you guys are wondering about, those of you that did enter the contest, we're gonna go ahead and start with this. Here is the lovely package here that I got in from UPS Ground. It finally came yesterday and if you guys did check out the actual initial video where I was telling you guys, you could win your very own copy of Egypt Station, Paul McCartney's new album, which I'm gonna get into in a second, and this video will be my review as well of this, but I just wanted to go ahead and take care of business here with the uh, the, actual, the, actual, the, actual, the actual package um, that I got in because I told you guys that I went out to Barnes and Nobles and bought another copy of the exact same deluxe version of the Egypt Station. The only thing that's really deluxe about it uh, is that the uh, record is a, a colored record instead of just plain black. Um, but still, um, super awesome. But anyway, let's go ahead and just get into it right here. So um, there was about seven of you that uh, did enter the contest, um, which I'm thankful for all of you that did enter in the contest. And uh, we did come up with a winner. There were two of you that were really close. Um, neither of the people, though, that were really close got close enough to actually guessing the, the correct amount. I'm going to go ahead and just say what the correct amount of records that that was the question though if any of you did not watch the previous video was that i asked the question how many records do i actually have in my collection currently and uh <clears throat> there was a lot of good guesses but there were only two that were really close but the correct amount of records that i have in my collection is 171. so um they're like i said there were two they were very close but there was one person that was the closest and they were actually the last person to guess out of all the seven people that originally guessed and their guess was 166 so since no one else guessed even closer than that i was like this is going to be the winner so um the person is under the username doc docus i believe that's how you say your name so it's doc for doc and then docus d-o-c-u-s so whoever you are out there that uh is that actual um that that username Congratulations, you have won your very own copy of Paul McCartney's new album, which um, I'm gonna explain here in a minute my review of this. But congratulations, sir. Um, I will be sending that out to you as soon as you give me your address. And the way that you can do that is sending it to my uh, Gmail address, which is gonna show up on the screen right now. And you will be able to just uh, Give me your details and then I will send this lovely package out to you and, and you will have your own copy of this wonderful album. So with that being said, if some of you were just tuning in right now to see who won the contest, now you know. And uh, if that's all you wanted to watch, that's fine. But if you want to stay tuned for my review, we're going to start that right now. So Paul McCartney's album, Egypt Station, came out on September 7th of 2018. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, needless to say, there was a lot of speculation over this album. Uh, there was a few singles that came out. Uh, one of them was Fa You. A lot of people were really kind of up in arms with that. A lot of the vinyl community was just sitting there and going, what? <laughs> what is Paul trying to do here? A lot of people were confused. Um, and then some other songs came out like uh, um, Come On To Me. And uh, what was the other single? There was those two and I feel like, I don't remember now, I thought there was one other single he, he brought out, but now I'm, I'm just forgetting. But anyhow, um, people were wondering about what this album was gonna be like. There were several people that, um, that even have done reviews so far and have actually, uh, it's been, for the most part, uh, there's been people that have really enjoyed the album and there's been a few that haven't. So more or less, it really has been well received. And I'm here to say that it's been well received by me. So again, just before I get my, my actual thoughts here, here is the front of the record. Here's the back. Awesome, awesome artwork. And I'll just show you guys both of the uh, sleeves that these come in. Have some really cool pictures of Sir Paul. That one in particular is my favorite, but here's here's another one here. Hope you guys can see that okay. Really awesome pictures. Um, there's this one too. Okay. 
The other one was a picture of a microphone, so. <laughs> There's that. But the records do both come in, this edition do come in a wonderful, wonderful color red. Amazing stuff, guys. I was just so blown away by how this color turned out. And uh, one of, red is my favorite color in general. So that was a uh, win-win for me. And as you guys saw, the, uh, the words are actually on the, uh, the actual sleeves. Um, the deluxe edition, I call this the deluxe edition, but the actual deluxe edition from Paul McCartney's website that I saw Mean Mr. Mayo had, um, it actually um, came on standard, standard vinyl, uh, black vinyl, but they had a sleeve inside there that actually folded out and it was a nice little thing that showed the lyrics that way but um again like i said both vinyls do come they are red the labels actually look a little different on each side which i personally like i think that's awesome but let's go ahead and talk about the review here guys so um this album i really as far as paul mccartney albums i have never really uh, up to this point, I uh, only have a few of his albums. I have one of the, uh, a band on the run. Um, I have Tug of War, and there's one other album um, that I, I'm forgetting the name of all of a sudden. I can't believe I'm doing that, but it's uh, it's the Pipes, and you guys will tell me in the comments what that is, but I forget all of a sudden. I'm um, doing this video right after I got off work, so maybe I'm just a little tired. But uh, overall, I know one album that I have, uh, well actually I don't own it, but there, my, my dad owns the CD of Flaming Pie. And that to me, as far as albums that I've heard of Sir Paul McCartney, was fantastic. I even watched a video the other night that uh, um, was talking about the album. It was a great, uh, great documentary about the making of the Flaming Pie album. And uh, I still hold that album in high regard. And as far as this album goes, I will say I was maybe on the fence with some people originally with the song "For You." I was kind of like um, weirded out by that a little bit. I was like, "This this does seem kind of interesting, maybe a little gimmicky." But but um, over time now, I've listened to the album about two and a half times, almost three times. But uh, once on vinyl, and then the other two was with the free download code that I received from this record. And uh, needless to say, I'm super happy with how this record has turned out. Oh, guys, I, I don't know what the whole thing about the few people in the vinyl community that have just been kind of uh, maybe not completely 100% disappointed, but they just didn't uh, um, think that it was, um, you know, it was okay album, which I do have to go back and watch some people's reviews because there is some people that actually have given their official review now, and we'll see how they fare it now. But, but guys, um, this album is so good, and you know what? It could be, you know, the differences in age is why some people maybe like some things better about the album, and then some people really like it. I'm 32 years old, so I mean, you know, I'm fairly still a young man, obviously. Um, but uh, needless to say, yes, I do notice from some of the comments that people have said that Paul McCartney's voice is aged, and yes, he's 76 years old, and you know, that's gonna happen with age. I mean, I, I sing um, and I play guitar, and I know that when I get to that age, I'm sure my voice currently right now um, won't sound the same at all. And everybody's, people that do sing and play, um, as, they, as their voice ages, it does change, and that happens. I mean, it happened to John Mayer. John Mayer's voice has changed um, a little bit over the years as well, <clears throat> um, as an example of somebody's voice changing. Excuse me. Um, but uh, overall, this album is fantastic, guys. Um, I'll just say, uh, as far as maybe my favorite cuts off this off this uh, particular record, I would say as of right now, my favorite cuts are um, I Don't Know, Come On To Me, um, Happy With You, um, For You, Confident, um, Hand In Hand, um, back in Brazil, and uh, I don't know, Caesar Rock. Uh, guys, let's just say I like the whole album, because <laughs> I'm pretty much naming almost every song on this whole album. Um, as far as a collective of songs put together for an entire album, this album is fantastic. I mean, everything from the amazing opening station number one that came about, um, that was um, super awesome, followed by um, I Don't Know, which is an amazing 
um, song as well because it ties in together with the open station. An amazing piano uh, ballad to open up the album. Um, and uh, I would just say that um, realistically, the whole album kind of flows together very well, even though there's not... Uh, Paul McCartney did, did call it a concept record, um, which uh, we all have our idea of what a concept record is, but but uh, realistically, that song, I don't know, tie in and going into Come On To Me and then Happy With You, I mean, all the songs have their place. It doesn't, in my opinion, some of the stuff doesn't really come out of place, um, but um, I will say there is plenty of songs on the record that are um, very um, up-tempo. They do have a great rock flavor to them and there's uh, the song back in Brazil which is really a really fun um, just uh, um, funk mixed with um, just uh, a Latin sound which is really cool as well um, but uh, the one one song that um, I wasn't sure what it was really about and I found out because I guess Paul McCartney talked about it off of his uh, YouTube page with one of the videos he talked about each song was confidant is actually about his um guitar and uh, he talks about how he talks about all the secrets that he he's told his guitar and how it's always stuck with him so it's kind of a a funny song to say the least but really enjoyable song nonetheless um i would say if i had to pick one track that is probably my favorite song of all of this whole entire record right now that would have to be despite repeated warnings. Um, it's such a, a great storytelling song, and it basically just talks about um, the crew of a ship is kind of basically, in the sense, wanting to commit uh, mutiny against the captain of the ship because they don't feel like he's in the right and where they feel like they're in danger. And uh, they're just saying, we can do it, we can do it, we can, we can take the captain and uh, basically um, save ourselves from our intimate demise, um, which was, I thought, just a really cool song. And then Back in Brazil is actually a really cool song as well that tells a story. Um, but there's just a lot of, um, some people I, I don't think really agree, but I feel like there's a lot of um, depth with some songs. Some people say the lyrics are just a little bit too simple. Um, but, you know, sometimes I feel like the simplest lyrics get across some of the strongest messages. And, uh, you know, you could say that even with the song, um, uh, what song where was uh do it do it now um but the what was the one song uh who cares that's the song i was wanting to talk about yeah who cares because that has a super simple message but it's just talking about who cares what he paul mccartney says who cares what the idiots say basically uh some people think he's talking about trolls and people on the internet and things like that but i think it can be applied to even just um anybody whether you're an adult or a kid you know talking about who cares what people say you know you know, you, should, you shouldn't you should care so much, which I know that's easier said than done with some people because uh, uh, I myself am guilty of that, of caring about what people think a lot of the times. But needless to say, guys, um, I don't necessarily do like a, a rating when I review stuff, but overall, I would just say if I gave any rating at all, I would say, uh, you know, uh, an A+. Plus. We'll just say that. We'll give it that kind of grade. Um, this is a fantastic album, and I think everybody should give it a chance. And it's great because everybody does have their own opinion about this album and what they think about it, and that's totally fine because with music, music is subjective, and that's how it always will be. But uh, needless to say, I really highly enjoyed this album, and I will listen it again many times over. Um, like I said, um, as far as the, the, the records that I currently own and records I've heard of Paul McCartney, uh, this one specifically for me right now is one that I would listen alongside with Flaming Pie. So take that as you will. Um, I'm not saying that this is better than Flaming Pie or something like that, but uh, it definitely is a record, one of my favorites that I will listen to time and time again. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. I hope that uh, with my review that I explained my thoughts clearly to you guys, but uh, needless to say, it's thumbs up. It's a fantastic album. Hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure that you continue to spin that wax, flip that wax, because this is a lifestyle, everyone. And the final community, I haven't said this in a while, but thank you guys for being who you are. You guys are an amazing community, one of the best on YouTube. And we will catch you guys very soon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll check with you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks.